Yo, what is happening? My name is Apton, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. This is episode 9, and today we are going to be working on the interior of the lumberyard. Uh, that's what I said last time, but we got a little bit sidetracked. We did a whole bunch of deals, and of course, this auto unloader, which still isn't entirely finished. We're going to get to that in this episode. There's just a few minor things to be done but yeah we have an uh, entire lumber yard to decorate on the inside don't worry guys we're actually gonna get to it in this episode that is what I have planned um, but yeah with that said let's get straight into this video cuz we don't got any time to waste we need to get this done ASAP so we can start actually building more things cuz what I'm going to be building in here is kind of important for building. But anyways, let's get straight into this video. Alrighty, so to begin, we are going to need some neon wires for the auto unloader, which I don't actually think I got from Link's Logic when we went last episode. Yeah, I don't think we did that. Um... Well, there is a neon wire over here, so I guess we can go ahead and get grab that real quick and we can kind of Try to start basically what I'm going to be doing is just making this into a fence with some neon wires I don't know what's going on with the neon wires right now wires are very glitchy right now uh, but anyways um, basically what I'm going to be doing is just putting a bunch of neon wires making strips so that it looks more like a fence rather than just I don't know it just looks really awkward right now so we're gonna try to fix that but yeah I do need more neon wires which it doesn't look like I really have oh I think I might actually oh there's one right here and then I did make the K out of a neon wire which I've gotten a lot of criticism for but you know it's it's fine okay we're we, we can we can replace that and there we oh what is this error okay it was just a blank error. That's kind of weird. I've, I don't think I've ever gotten that. All right, that's that. Um, we can fix this K in here. Uh, and I do have something to replace it, I do believe. Yeah, over there, I have a bunch of wires. So yeah, let's just go ahead and put down the third strip. Is that straight? I think that's straight. All right, so that is what it's gonna look like. Basically, we're just gonna do that for each and every one of these. You know what? I think it's a little bit weird to have it like all freestyled. So you know what? I'm going to make this a little bit more exact with some blueprints real quick. So let's go ahead and take out some tiny tiles and we can just do that. And I think that will make it a little bit more exact. We're just going to do things in the center of each of those blueprints. So to make it more exact, we're also going to have to do it on the other side so that it's less tilted and slanted and all weird and wonky. So yeah, let's just do that and then put the bottom pieces on. And now I guess we can go ahead and put the wires directly in the center of each of the spaces. And that will just make it a little bit more exact. Alrighty, there we go. Yeah, those are looking a lot more straight, a lot more pristine and perfect. So yeah, that's that's definitely helping this out a lot. So I guess that's what I'm going to do with every single one of these. But for now, I think I am entirely out of neon wires now. So we're going to have to make a trip. Um, let's see if Hoover is here. Yes, he is. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's go over and go grab a ticket actually I do have the game pass so I don't actually need a ticket I just have to get on the ferry and wait for him to depart the Sun is going down so it's probably gonna get night oh that's actually a problem oh shoot okay we might want to miss this one because I don't want to be stuck on the other side uh, just waiting for Link's logic to open because that would kind of suck so yeah I guess we just have to work on our base for a little bit longer until night passes and Hoover is back Looks like there's a person here who potentially could be buying something, but we'll have to wait and see. He's just staring at me. I don't know what he's doing. What, what do you want? What do you want? That glare. The Walter glare. Oh, is you the real one? Oh, he, I think he knows that I'm, <laughs> I'm Afton. Um, uh, no. Why, why can't I type? 
I'm trying to say no, not mop. What the heck? Okay. Uh. Okay. I, I, I've been caught. Wait. Was that? How? The, where'd this guy come from? What the heck? I didn't even see this guy. Okay. It looks like we might actually have someone that's willing to buy from the shop. That would be awesome. Oh yeah. And also, we do need a another wire to fix the K that I just ruined. You're welcome, JB. I'm finally fixing this. He was my biggest criticizer of the neon wire for the K. There is the K. It's not gonna be pristine because there's like zero space to build a K. This is probably the worst K I've ever made. That looks awful, but it it does the job. Uh, let's see. We, we do need to stock the shop. Let's go ahead and take one of these axes and put it in one of these empty spaces. And we also have this middle section that is entirely unpopulated by gifts. So we might need to go ahead and put some things there. Oh, I actually have two storage containers entirely full of things to put there. Um, what do we what are we lacking i guess yeah we're, we're missing some candy bags so let's go ahead and put some candy bags up they're actually in the back of the storage container so we're gonna have to pull some out like this Alrighty, that is all of the gift bags in there. I guess uh, I'm just going to put these back in because we don't have enough space for them. And that is the shop pretty much fully stocked. I think we can actually put some of these turkeys up there as well. I think I saw some empty shelves. So yeah, let's go ahead and put some turkeys up here. Alright, let's put this in here. And then the upper shelves are a little bit more difficult to stock. Oh, 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 someone's saying, yeah, yes, 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 I am selling. Maybe we actually have a buyer. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, we do have some other things to stock up, like there is a bunch of mashed potatoes over here. Oh, the, <laughs> the shelves are just weird. Okay, let's go ahead and put this right here, just in case. I don't, I don't actually have a price on that. And this 45k probably has to go because we did sell the scoob in the last episode, I believe. <laughs> he wants to buy everything. I'm not. I want other people to have a chance to buy things. Jeez, you're getting a little bit greedy there for one pumpkin. Um, do I not have a price for the pumpkins? What the heck? Okay, we'll just make something up. Uh, 25k, probably sufficient. Um, what? Okay, this guy isn't loaded yet. He's saying he's gonna give me 200,000 for a single pumpkin. That seems suspicious. Uh, no, no, you, you can give me the proper price. Dude has 13.6 million and he wants to give me 200k for a single pumpkin. Okay, this is a little bit weird, but I, I'm, I'm just gonna go with it. We'll see. I mean, that just seems scary to me because I don't know someone that wants me to whitelist them that bad might have some malicious intentions but you know um is this their base yeah that's their that's their base okay so apparently they're gonna give me 200,000 for just this I, I told them that I was willing to accept 25,000 but apparently he wants to pay that much he doesn't need the pumpkin well, I'm gonna give it to you, bro. You're just giving me donations at this point. I don't accept donations on this series. Uh, okay. Um, well, I'm I'm go I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Okay. Apparently, he just wants to give me money, but I am going to give it to him. Too bad. I gave it to you. Suffer the consequences. I don't know if I spelt that right, but we're gonna... It's fine. Consequences is a weird word anyways. No one's judging me for that. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. Consequences. Yeah, no, I did it right. I, I, I spelled it right. 
All right, let's go ahead and unwhitelist this person. But yeah, that guy just wanted to give me 200,000 for some reason. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that because I'm technically not supposed to accept donations on this uh, Let's Play series, in case you didn't know. Um, just to make it a little bit more, you know, relatable to you guys. Because I don't want to just get a bunch of money based on the fact that I'm a YouTuber because that's just not fair. Um, but yeah, this guy just gave me 200000 I mean, that helps for sure. I'm not going to be ungrateful for that, but I don't know. I feel bad accepting that much money from someone for just one pumpkin. All right. Um, oh, 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 oh. I almost forgot. We got to catch the ferry real quick. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I don't know when the ferry got here, but we got to go. Come on, please don't depart. I don't know. I don't know how much time we have, but it is morning and we got to get on the ferry as soon as possible. All right, let's see how much time I did have. One minute. Okay, we, we did have enough time. Alrighty guys, we have almost made it to the other side. We just have to wait for us to get unlocked. There we go. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves some neon wires. I kind of want to hurry because if I take too long, then the ferry is going to depart. I know it's going to happen no matter what I try. I always miss the ferry, but we're going to we're going to try it this time. And if we don't make it, then we can always stock up on wires or get some koa wood just to make the trip worth it but yeah let's go ahead and get a bunch of neon wires my favorite color is orange neon wires because they look so cozy when they're lit up so I like to get that kind the most <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, I'm looking, I can see that the ferry is gone just through that little window that you can see the, the end of the dock. The ferry has departed. Dang it, we missed it. Uh, okay, that, that just means that we're gonna get so many more wires, which will, I guess, be really good to have on our base just for general use. So let's go ahead and get more. Okay guys, I've gotten a little bit carried away with wire buying, but wires are so incredibly useful, so uh, I'm not even going to complain with the amount of wires that I've gotten because I know that I'll use every single one of them. Wires are so nice to have on your base. Looks like the ferry is still not here, so we're probably going to have to maybe grind some koa wood. I mean, I'm, I am going to need more koa wood at some point, so... 
since we're already here, we might as well, while we're waiting for the ferry to arrive. And it looks like it's going to be night, so we can't even stock up on anything in the uh, Link's Logic because it's going to be closed. So I guess what we're going to have to do is get Koa Wood, which I'm not necessarily angry about because Koa Wood looks amazing. I love Koa Wood. Wow, we have a lot of wires. That is a lot of wires. Okay, let's get close-ish to the dock so that if the ferry does arrive... Uh, it doesn't depart too soon. We can get everything there in time. But yeah, guys, um, I actually have a gingerbread axe on me right now, which is super convenient because I, it means that I can just go ahead and cut up all of these koa trees super easily. This is kind of why I like to have one on me at all times. It's just super, super handy to have. All right, let's just put a few branches into my truck. Let's try not to glitch out any wires in the process because that does tend to happen when you put heavy things on small things in this game. Try not to crush any of them. Oh, looks like the ferry is here, which means we have a little bit of extra time. Man, the ferry looks really majestic right now. I don't know what what's uh, what's the deal with that, but it, it's kind of looking really cool right now, I'm not going to lie. Let's back up nice and neatly. And you know what we can actually do is we can put some of this koa wood on the ferry and then we can go pick up some more because it will still work. It won't fall off if it's on the ferry. All right. Let's go ahead and grab some more koa wood. We don't want to be too uncareful with the time, though, because it will pass by really, really quickly. And I don't want to miss the ferry another time. Man, that would suck. All right, now it's time to just wait for the ferry to depart. Alrighty guys, we are back to the other side. I want to get this all saved on my base as soon as possible so that I, if I accidentally disconnect or anything, I don't lose it all. So we got to get this on my base as soon as possible. Alright, it is on my base. Um, I, I wish I had a better place than just this for my wires, but I think this is going to have to do... And let's go ahead and put things into our new sawmill. Actually, we want to be a bit careful because there's not a lot of space outside of the sawmill. Jamming is the worst and I want to avoid it as much as possible. I'm, I'm obviously not using my auto unloader right now because I don't want all of the wires to jam everything up. Then we got to get back onto the ferry before it departs to get the rest of the koa wood. Alrighty, well, I would consider that a very, very successful koa run. Look at how much koa wood we got. Now that we got that, I guess it's time to put in these strips of neon wire. So, as always, we're gonna have to put these up. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt the montage because this guy wants to buy an overgrown axe. 25,000 in the bank, awesome. Okay, okay, let's get ba right back to it. Uh, I don't wanna get too distracted like we did last time. You know what, since we have a bunch of neon wires now, we can totally start building out some proper lighting fixtures because right now everything's just work lights. Literally, literally just work lights. Oh my gosh, what happened to my shop? Looks like a tornado happened. What the heck? <laughs> what? Who did this? 
My entire shop is just ruined. What the heck? No, what? Okay, well, I guess that's a giant project that I have to do now. Oh no, the stone pins take so long to get upright. Oh no, come on, come on, go, go, go. Uh, there we go. Ah, uh, this sucks. Who did this? Why did they do it? They just want to torture me. I guess on the bright side, they didn't get any of the axes or I guess maybe that, but I don't really think they really messed with anything on the walls, so that's nice. At least there's that, and then looks like there's... A yeah, they got upstairs, but they didn't really mess with the big turkeys. I don't know who did this. Alright, shop is cleaned up. I wanted to do it off camera because I'm just gonna spare you the pain of having to clean up an entire shop. But anyways, let's go ahead and finish off this auto unloader with the last neon wire and finally complete this freaking auto unloader. It pretty much took the entirety of last episode to complete this thing and it wasn't even completed because we had to finish the rest in this episode. But it is fine. We have finally completed it. Alright, finally we can start building inside of the lumber yard. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up this koa wood real quick. And now let's prep the space for a one by one unit cutter. That's what I'm going to be putting in here. So we need a bunch of conveyors and uh, I think these holes are not properly cut out, but I'll, I'll get to that. Alrighty guys, so, um, unfortunately, I have just had a realization, um, and, <sighs> let's just say that I am very, very angry at myself, and a little bit embarrassed to tell you this, but it turns out that I didn't need to do this at all because I, I built it wrong. My plan was to have a tilted conveyor right here, which would shift everything over. I only realized this right here when I realized 
that this isn't going to come out perfectly straight out to my car spawner. This is going to be off center. So uh, the whole system looks so much better if I just remembered to do that, but I forgot that we need to put a tilted conveyor right here and now I've wasted a bunch of time just glitching that sawmill into the wall so that I could do that. Man, I'm so embarrassed about that. That's awful. Why did I do that? This is stupid. Okay, we're gonna just ignore stupidity and we're just gonna fix all of my mistakes. Let's just move this chop saw, all that effort that I went into to glitch that into the wall. It was all unnecessary. Man, I knew something was off from the very start. I, I just like, I was like, this is a little bit off, but you know, my plans are usually off. Nope. I, I Everything would have been fine if I just made sure that I, I wasn't forgetting anything. But nope, here we are. I just had to move my entire system over one freaking conveyor length. But it's okay. It's okay. We just gotta now put in a straight conveyor. Ooh, is that gonna... I don't know if that's gonna fit very well. It might cause some jamming problems in the future. You know what? I could just rotate a conveyor inside of the other conveyor and that would probably work. And there we go, it took a while to get this into the right place, but I got it in and that's gonna save us a whole stud of vertical space. So that wood hopefully won't get jammed under it. Cross our fingers. But yeah, now we can just extend the conveyor. Alrighty, awesome! We are done with that, which actually means that this whole system is pretty much finished. It should be working now. Um, I might have to change up some conveyor directions and whatnot, but I think it's pretty much ready. Now we can actually test this. So let's get a piece of wood. I don't want it to be too big. We have a piece of wood, it falls into the auto unloader and it gets saw milled up into 2x2 two two planks, like so. Ideally you'd want things to be smaller and it will make its way up. We're just going to speed up the process because I don't expect any of this to go wrong. Right here everything is working fine, nothing's getting jammed. And. Just like that, we got someone. <laughs> what the heck? Why did. Okay, that guy's dead. It's fine. Uh, this might be a deadly place to be, but it's fine. Just. We're gonna have to put warnings on the building, is all. But now we got wood that is headed right for these chop saws. And. Okay, that is problem number one. This is actually toggled in the wrong direction. Um, that is not good. It is getting jammed. Let's go ahead and reset this. And now everything should be working just fine. All right, yeah, seems to be working great. So if that wood makes it into my truck, that means that everything is functioning and we can actually start moving on to actually decorating and making this look a little more supported and making it look a lot better. There we go, just like that. And there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move my truck over a little bit so that things don't spill out like they just did. 
But yeah, that is awesome. We got it working. This feels so good to have a system finally in place. I've been waiting for this. And now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to place down some blueprints. And you can see that these totally fill in any blueprint that I need. So yeah, that's going to be super useful for building in the future, which... I have no plans of stopping building because this is so fun. I love building in Lumber Tycoon. All right, guys. Now, what we got to do is do some decoration. Um, first of all, we're going to start off by fixing this mis this little thing that I did. I moved the wall light into the wrong place. And you might notice that it's a little bit dark over here. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to get some neon wires we have a ton of orange neon wires so i'm trying to think of what kind of lighting fixtures we can put in i think what we're gonna do is some hanging lights that would be really cool maybe some industrial lights because i think we need some industrial lighting in here this is more of an industrial build so for that um i haven't really came up with a design prior but what i'm just gonna do is wing it because that sounds fun to me. So basically what this really, really uh, confusing thing that I've just done here represents is basically I'm going to have one light here and one light here. And they're going to be industrial, What are, what's the word, fluorescent tube lights, basically. That's what I'm going for. So yeah, that's basically what we're going to be building. Let's get straight into the montage. Oh, dude, it's the dude's axe. Well, I feel bad for him. I'm just gonna do that so that it falls down. Alrighty guys, the lighting fixtures are complete and my gosh, they're looking amazing. So now what we're going to do is put in some conveyor supports underneath these conveyors because currently they are floating and that's just a little bit weird. So what we're going to have to do is go over to Wood R Us and pick up a bunch of conveyor supports. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Alright, we are at Wood R Us. So right over here are the conveyor supports. We just need like thousands of these. It's gonna it's gonna take a little bit to buy all of these But you know, it's it's, it's fine. Let's just go ahead and do this
Okay, guys, so the conveyor supports are in, and you can see that things are looking a whole lot more supported. I did every other conveyor having supports because I think that I still want to be able to like walk through them, so I did add spaces between them. And over here, I had to put this one in very awkwardly because there is this uh, conveyor right here, which kind of prevents me from putting one right in between it. So I don't know, it's looking a little bit unsupported still, so what I think I'm gonna do is actually hang some wires from the ceiling up here so that we can support it the rest of the way because, I mean, if you look over here, everything is completely unsupported and having conveyor supports over here makes everything that doesn't have conveyor supports look a little bit weird. So with that said, let's just start building. Alrighty guys, I don't know about you, but I think that this is looking a whole lot more supported. I really love the hanging wires. It just makes everything look super industrial, and you know what? It might look a little bit plain, so I think we're gonna continue this project in the next episode, but not for long. I mean, there's just minor details that need to be done. I mean, this is all decoration, so... It's not like I haven't finished the one by one unit cutter, it's all fully functioning, but we are going to do a little bit more of extra decorations in the next episode, because we've run out of time for this episode. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't noticed, I have a new shirt. I mean, it, I just put it on in the last, like, few minutes of this video because I have just hit 40,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that epic milestone. That is insane. And if you guys want to celebrate this milestone with me, you can pick up this shirt. Link in the description. But yeah, hopefully this has helped you and I'll see you in the next video once it's out. See ya!